She's the queen of uncomfortable characters, but also very clumsy and, and very comical characters. Uh, uh, Gunhild Enger, welcome. Only 34 and already a retrospective. How does that feel? No, that's great. I mean, uh, it's fantastic. It, it, it feels a bit absurd, you know, the whole word retrospective. Uh, but it's also kind of nice to be rewarded that I've been efficient, I don't know, you know, <laughs> on a very sort of superficial level mm. for myself, you know. But is it superficial because you have five amazing shorts showing here? When you see them lined up, which one is your dearest baby? Oh wow, that is very difficult. I, I feel that I can't really betray any one of them <laughs> so, saying that. They all got like very important uh, things to me, you know, and, and I've gone through stages uh, where everyone has kind of been extremely important to make the other one. So actually, I'm, I'm sorry, but I can't tell you. I don't have a favorite. One of your uh, characteristics in all the shorts is the characters. They're, they're very clumsy, they're very touching, uh, recognizable also. Why do you uh, use them in this way? I think uh, what I do, uh, and a lot of other people do that as well, but I'm, I'm very focused on the casting. So I use a lot of time finding these characters. And it's like I use a mix of uh, amateurs and professionals, but maybe like till now I've used maybe most amateurs and, and that is because I really like um, their body, their body language the, and, and their faces and it, it seems more real to me in a way you know and, and I, just, I often think that the actors are too pretty or you know they, they're too conscious or this kind of thing and, and difficult to work with in that sense. To me it's, it's about getting to know them and, and I've just realized myself that I always cast people that I really like and it's not so strange but but like that I can really communicate with and you know hang out with for a long time. Um, so with my last film Subtotal for example we did like many workshops before we did the actual films and I don't know we, we got to learn uh, to know each other and we you know you know we laughed and we shared and it was like this uh, very natural um, process of getting to know another person and respect another person um, and I think that's maybe the important part because then they basically will do everything I tell them in a way. And it's not, I'm not saying this in a cynical way, um, but uh, you know, we understand each other and they, we talk about the characters and you know, in this sense that they would understand that this and that is necessary. How important is it that they are recognizable to the audience or maybe to yourself also? Yeah, I mean, it's mostly, I, I go, you know, I start with myself, I would always do that. And, and uh, I always look for characters, I think that I'm myself, in many of the characters, you know, um, and the trademarks, and, and I think it's important that people recognize the characters, yes, but it's also quite nice if I manage to, you know, do something a bit strange and weird with them at the same time, because we all are extremely weird and unpredictable and, you know, evil and good at the same time, so. And where do you find the inspiration? If you're looking around here at, at Go Short, do, do you find inspiration in, like, clumsy people or strange things? Well, you know, it's, it's not like that I'm, like, always on, on duty. I do find inspiration in strange situations, but the situations themselves can be quite mundane and normal, but something, you know, a bit strange happens or I'm sitting at a bench and a person goes by me four times I start wondering you know where is where has he been where is he going you know what's gonna happen and you know this kind of things so I mean it's everywhere basically can you tell me about your next short what, what will it be will we also have these incredible characters I hope so this <laughs> uh, this short film is called the committee and uh, uh, it's a co-production with Sweden, Finland and Norway and it's about the meeting point between Sweden, Finland and Norway uh, up in north mm. and it's a committee that has commissioned an artwork to be standing on this place uh, and obviously it's not very easy to agree on the actual art, you know, um, so it's about um, democratic decision-making processes and how like um, like a big amb ambition can fall flat very easily through the process of democracy, which is kind of ironic in a way. But you know how you negotiate and, and very often you just end up with nothing. Right. Or a very bad compromise, basically. But, but it, it's, you, you, you almost have like a, like a little cynical laugh on your mouth when you talk about this. It's, it's like a recipe for, for misunderstanding. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Why is that so interesting for you? 
No, because I think it happens all the time and it's so big part of our lives. Even when you commun communicate with people you love, you know, and you respect, you have to be careful because like it's so, you know, in a relationship, for example, it's like so small things that could just like get a very bad tension between two persons. And, and this happens as well in, in like big political, you know, yeah. people get offended and, and, and uh, people, you know, get charmed. And it's, it's like this mix of both uh, personality and politics and languages. Like in this new film, for example, three languages. Although they're quite similar, you know, there is different tones and there's definitely, um, <laughs> uh, you know, misunderstanding. After watching your shorts, what would you like the, the effect to be on the Viewer. I mean, you know, if, if the viewer could see um, like themselves or something in a bigger perspective, that would be great, you know. Uh, but uh, I'm not moralistic in any way. I, I don't feel like I am anyway, uh, because this is like I'm, I'm saying. I'm really underlining the fact that it's also me. But it's like this is us, and you know, I'm sure we could do something different if you could be thinking about what you're doing in a slightly different sense every once in a while. That's uh, like in a simple life, for example. You know how people are. Oh, I don't know. Um, working out inside, for example. I do it myself as well. It's but it's it's horrible. And to go to the gym, you know, it's a feature film on its own. Right. Yeah, I'd love to make one just in the gym. It's yeah. like so much things happening. Okay, so, uh. so we see yourself reflected on the screen with all our maybe stupid habits. Uh, but it's also comforting. Yeah, yeah, it is. And it's not just like on a very small level, but I think it mirrors larger things in life, you know, hopefully, anyway. Uh, like the whole mechanization and, and uh, industry, you know, how things are are not so personal anymore, or, I don't know, um, everything has to be so efficient. Okay, so, so. so you're fighting a battle against efficiency on a very, very normal and day-to-day and -day basis? Well, that's one of the things, I suppose, and yeah. it's one of the questions, maybe, mm. you know. Okay, well, uh, keep firing some wonderful characters at us, we look forward to it, and uh, please continue. Thank you very much, mm. thank you, I will. <laughs>